welcome back to the channel. Tony here. So today we're headed out to Bastra State Park. We're going to go check it out. Uh, scope out some potential camping for the spring and summer. So come along. All right, so here we are. This is, I guess, what you'd consider the park road. <laughs> so originally, I had booked uh, a campsite for for last night, and it was just way too cold. It was like in, down in the 30s, and there was no way I was going to come out here and camp and freeze. But we're still going to check it out. Yeah, park tech capacity, even in these cold, cold, cold days. All right, so here we go. We're in the park. We're going to go ahead and check out the sites. We're going to check out my campsite that I would have camped in last night. So let's go check them out. Yeah, it was just way too cold. Way too cold. Golf course, I guess. We'll go check down here because I know I'm 39, so we'll check these sites first. So it looks like they have a recreation area over here. The swimming pool and... Not that anybody's gonna go swimming today. The YMCA. Looks like a picnic area. Well, so here's the campsites right here. Oh, that fire smells good. Oh, these are nice. Are there some brave people with their tents? I guess I'm just spoiled. Well, I guess I'm not down here unless I passed it. That's 35. Ah, 38. Uh, 36. So I must be over here in this area. There we are. 30, 39. It's one of those. So it's kind of like a group setting here. You don't get your own. That's good to know. Yeah, so these are just right on, right on top of everything. So that's Deer Run. And now we're going to go try it out. Check out these other sites here. These look like they're probably um, more RV sites. Those were tent sites back there. Yeah, I prefer the tent sites where you can actually like pull up right up to your site. The one that looks like I booked was the only thing that was available. <clears throat> looks like it was one that you would have to park in the group parking area and then carry your stuff over, which, you know, it's not a big deal, but that's a nice one right there. That one right there. Not level ground, but hey. Still a good place. Park host.
That's a nice one right there. Kind of close to the highway, but hey, beggars can't be choosers. Now that's a nice one right there. It looks more like a RV site. I guess you park your RV here and I think that's the road to Boucher's. Yeah, so this is your pull-in for your RV, which would be good, you just pull your bike in here. So I guess this is the main road right here. Yeah, see these are all reserved. more down there it looks like yeah so you just pull in there just park right in your little pull out which is cool yeah that's a nice one right there for sure it's a nice trailer Yeah, I bet this place was beautiful before it burned. So I think this road goes to the cabins, so we'll, we'll check that out. Looks like a picnic area. Yeah, picnic area. Might have to stop there for lunch. It's definitely a nice park. I mean, it's nice to be out here. I mean, yes, you're close to everything and highways and so on, but it's still very accessible from Austin to come out here and go camp for a night and check it out. So I'll, I'll definitely, during the spring and summer, I'll come out here and I'll, I'll camp a night. Um, why not? I mean, it's. I still need to do my break-in camping trip before I go to Big Bend. So I know I have a couple other camps planned before April because I want to do a shakedown of, of camping before I actually head off to Big Bend. It's like a trailhead. Possibly bathrooms. No gathering wood, just cabins. That's nice. I don't want to bother people there. They're parked in their in their cabins, but these are nice. I mean, you, it looks like you got a nice fireplace. Woodsy. I like the ones at uh, Butcher because they were on the lake, you know, and you're like you had lake lake front property. like the end of the line here. Yeah, this is nice. Again, in a pinch, if you were traveling and that's all that was available was the cabin, they're probably pricey, you know. It's probably be the same as a hotel. So you just have to determine whether whether you want to spend the money on a hotel or, or come out here and spend the night in one of these cabins. I guess that's one of the cabins. That's a it's all stone. That's cool. 
we'll go ahead and stop at the picnic area up here and and have a uh, have some lunch you know again this is a small park uh, there's not a lot of I'm sure there, there's there looks like there's a lot of nice trails for hiking and and then the road between here and Buchers there's um, a lot of bicyclists that, that like to come out here for the day and take that and then there's probably a lot of really nice trails to just hike on over here so I mean that's got to be pretty good oh wow that bridge all got washed away interesting yeah so this uh, 1A goes all the way to Butchers which we might go ahead and take it just for the ride for today because it's, it's a fun ride We'll see. Go ahead and have some lunch. Really like these packing cubes, so I can. This is where I'll, I'll keep my my freeze dried food in here. So we're gonna go ahead and have some classic spaghetti with meat sauce. I really like this one, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Yep. So these picnics spots they're pretty nice you got water and you have your grill but it's nice that they have water here because uh, you can come picnic and wash your utensils or your hands or whatever you need to do Alright, so we just came from our picnic area and had our lunch and we're going to go ahead and take the road all the way to the other part just because we got time and it's a nice ride so we might as well, it's a nice day too, and take a ride on that. Well, so there you go, there's the Bastroff State Park, nice little park just really accessible right off 71 uh, easy enough to come out here I could imagine if you were traveling across the state or whatever and you needed a place to stay you could surely stop here and get a campsite and camp for the night or get a cabin or whatever or even even just stop for a picnic it's nice to be able to have another place like this to come and have a picnic you know when when you're traveling so uh, I could I could totally see that you know you got your park pass your your state pass so you just you know be able to swing by and just come on in that being said right now you can't do that because you have to have everything's all reserved and and limited access and so on but I think you know down in the, in the future you'll be able to do that and then it'll be a nice nice place to stop and have lunch on your travels so we're going to go ahead and wrap this video up here if you like this video give it a thumbs up that helps grow the channel subscribe so you don't miss any of my future um, adventures and whatever else we're going to talk about and we'll catch you on the next one adios everyone